Good morning. My name is uh, Tom Potok. It's a pleasure to be here today. I'm from the, um, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. I had the, uh, the joy of spending a couple extra hours in the Detroit airport. I uh, thought California was in a drought. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. This is my first, uh, my first nice workshop. Uh, I'm, I'm standing here today because of, uh, of uh, Robinson Pino. He uh, uh, couldn't make the meeting and asked that I represent some of the, uh, some of the things that he's doing with his, with his program, uh, which I think is pretty exciting. Uh, I, I come at this from a data analytics side, you know, a lot of machine learning, a lot of deep learning, trying to figure out uh, how, how the brain works, how you use uh, brain capabilities to, to understand data and do a better job of data analytics. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about was the, um, uh, there was a, a round table uh, that was held up in DC in October. And uh, part of the idea behind that was to say, can we take the Depart Department of Energy's basic energy science uh, and then take the advanced scientific computing and get these two groups together? There's a tremendous amount of work being done on the material science side, which is, which is truly fascinating. And then a, a great amount of work being done also on the, um, on the uh, computing side. And getting those two together was a, uh, what was interesting, you know, it's it's sort of hard looking at a at a, a material science presentation as a computer scientist and really understanding what's going on, but it's it's interesting to see. Anyway, a, a report was put out on that that's at the um, that's at the uh, at the bottom. Uh, from that, we're going to hold a workshop, uh, a neuromorphic workshop in um, in Oak Ridge at the uh, end of June, beginning of July, and we're looking for white papers. The, the, the goal for this, um, for this workshop is to say, uh, looking at the material side and looking at the, um, at the computing side was a little broad for the first, for the first round table. We're trying to look now much more closely, much more focused on how do you program these systems? You know, you can, you can potentially build them in devices, there are exciting materials that are happening, but, but once you have a device, once you have a system, how do you build it, how do you train it, how do you program it? You know, can you use some of the, you know, deep learning, uh, machine learning, some of those methods? And so that's, that's one of the goals. Another goal is to say, can we start bringing some of the national laboratory communities together as well and see what's going on in this area and who's, um, who's, doing, who's doing what? And then the last one, I'm, I'm sure most of you are aware of this. Uh, so the, uh, the White House has announced this uh, <clears throat> nano-inspired grand challenge for future computing. So, so Robinson Pino is, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know him, he's a, a program manager in the, uh, in the um, Office of Science. And uh, he's, been, he's been asked to participate in this, uh, in this program. So this is a you know, very, very broad, very, uh, very large scale, akin to sort of like the Brain Initiative or the uh, Exascale Computing Initiative. So again, this is a very, uh, you know, another, another uh, th uh, thrust that's going on. It's, uh, it's very exciting to see. You know, this looks like it's, it's, a, it's an emerging area. I know a lot of the uh, program managers uh, have done a tremendous amount of work to, to get to this level, to get to this point. And, uh, and I think that this is a, you know, this area is on the verge of, of, of really taking off. And, and I'll echo what, what Bruce said is, you know, that exascale computing is the big, is the big high bar for, um, for the Department of Energy. But people are starting to ask now, what do you do beyond that? You know, we can't just keep going the way we've done. How do we go beyond that? Anyway, uh, that's, that's, my, um, that's my presentation.